Hi, my name is Keith Cooper from Northlight Images and uh, in this short video I'm going to have a look at printing greetings cards with the Epson EcoTank 8550 printer. <clears throat> now I've covered printing cards and other aspects of this in the review and some other videos I've made. But uh, I wanted to come back to this because I had a lot of questions about printing cards. And this is a range of cards um, that I obtained from a local supplier here in Leicester, uh, Paper Spectrum. Uh, we're in the UK, so if you're not in the UK, I'm afraid you're going to have to try and find equivalents uh, for this. But this is really just to tell you a few bits and pieces I've discovered about printing cards here on the 8550. Simple card here, it's A4. Now the card is pre-creased. Um, I say lots of people will supply card like this pre-creased. Uh, this is a, um, it's an art paper. It's single-sided. Now that means that whilst I can print text on the back here, out here, with a printer like this, don't think about printing any complex print on the inside. Um, the paper is single-sided, is coated. Now, if you want good results with cards with a printer like this, in fact, almost any inkjet printer, you need paper that is specifically intended for inkjet use. So there we've got that. But it's a matter of this one's borderless, and it's a matter of printing different sizes and what the printer will support. Now, the printer supports A4. A4 borderless. If you fold that in half that way you get an A5 card. So that's a borderless card. Likewise that's on a slightly heavier media um, and this particular image and making a card with this particular image I've covered in an article that uh, and a um, video that looks at scanning original artwork on this and reproducing it. Now I would say I have created custom ICC profiles for all these different types of media here. Uh, they're listed in the review and uh, they're available for non-commercial use for experimenting. Um, so if you want to use them for running a business, no, I'm afraid not. Uh, it's a licensing condition of the, of the software. Now, this one here, that's A6, and it's borderless. Well, it's printed on a folded A5 sheet. Unfortunately, this printer doesn't support A5 borderless. How have I managed to print it on borderless? Well, I've used a matte card, and this is one here. This is uh, an A4 sheet that folds down the middle. Um, I've used a version of this, there's the original sheet, that folds lengthways. So you print two cards and then slice them off in a guillotine and that allows you to make A6 borderless cards. Now the paper here is a 300 gram, it's a matte, bright matte paper. It's double sided. That means I can print on the inside as well. What I would say is that do not even think about using the duplex inside this printer for printing double sided. All you'll get is pieces of card jammed up inside it. It is designed for thin paper, plain paper, very thin photo paper. Do not put anything heavier in and expect it to go through the duplexer unit. It simply won't work. So what you do is you create an image and I've got an example showing the image here that I've created. And I'm printing this from the um, Epson print layout software. Um, various settings for it. I've set borderless A4 and it's a matter of simply printing it. Now when the print comes out, it comes out like that and I slice it in two and I've got two A6 size prints and envelopes come with it as well. Now that's the mat, the 300 mat with that for folding into A5 and there's another pack that's got ones for A6. Now on other papers that look this is a 300 gram semi-gloss paper. Now these are available now other sizes as well. Just A4 is a lot easier for me to work with and to show the things. This is folded down the middle. Once again, print from a template. You can print borderless on this. This is a semi-gloss. Um, makes very nice pictures if you're printing photos. For artwork, I generally prefer a more matte print like that. 
And I would say that if you're using a, a paper like the uh, 300 gram mat there, the double sided, large areas of black like this can scratch. Um, the surface is scratchable. So if you want pictures that are solid black, I would go for one of the other style papers than that. This prints the colour really nicely, but with black, one of these is absolutely spotless and the other has been handled and I can see one or two slight marks on it. Now, they're very slight marks, but they're enough that I wouldn't be happy uh, selling a product like that. Um, there's the double-sided uh, mat that, uh, that folds into A6. There's the crease down the middle of it. And we get some small A6 envelopes with it. One card that works well, produces good pictures, is the Glossy, Glossy 240. This is an out-and-out -out photo paper. Once again, single-sided. If you want to put stuff on the inside, then you're going to have difficulties with it. Um, this will just about take text on the inside, but I wouldn't want to print fine detail on it. It's always a problem if you need complex designs on the inside, so if you're making wedding invite cards or something like that, you want something inside them printed as well, look for something like the double-sided one here. Uh, that's capable of very nice results, fine detailed text as well. And lastly, I come up to the etching. Uh, this is an out-and-out -out cotton rag, nice quality paper. It, once again, this is the um, A4 size that folds down to A5. Um, so there are other, lots of other sizes. But that one there makes a very nice solid print. Now the colour on that is excellent. Now, I've got profiles for these. Um, and that's a larger version of this print that's printed on... Um, Epson enhanced matte poster board on this very printer. You can print board on the 8550 as well. But anyway, the real thing I'm saying, the message I'm getting, trying to answer questions I'm asked about this is, if you use cheap card stock, your prints will look rubbish. It's as simple as that. Get paper card that is intended for use of inkjet printers. Too expensive for you? tough. If you want the quality, you have to pay for it. Um, I've been asked a lot about this. If you've got any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, as I, I've printed loads of cards this. Um, people will be receiving some of these for Christmas. Um, it's a nice printer. It's a bit slow if you're printing at high quality. It takes several minutes to do a print like this. So if you're thinking of using the printer for a business, Think about, you know, printing a few cards is great, but if you get an order for 100 cards, you're going to be sitting beside the printer for quite a while. You can stack a few sheets up, uh, not that many, um, and you need to keep an eye on the printer, but uh, it will do. So, if you're looking at getting into card making and things for this, if you want to print, whether it be photographs or artwork, um, this is a nice printer to do it, but rubbish paper, rubbish results. Anyway, I hope that's of some interest. Uh, please do have a look at my other articles and uh, videos I've uh, produced about the 8550 if you're interested in using it. And as I say, drop me a line. Please subscribe to the channel if you find it useful and um, I'll do a few more like this. Thank you.